Welcome to this video in which we describe the frequency content of noise and uh, look at a couple of different types of noise. When we talk about the frequency content of noise, quite often we're interested in how much power a particular type of noise has in a particular frequency band. So for example, if our noise is extrinsic noise coming from uh, wiring, say AC power wiring, in the United States, that noise will probably have frequency content very close to 60 hertz because that's the frequency at which uh, power is, uh, is, distrib is distributed in the United States. So in this video, we'll talk about how we characterize the uh, frequency content of noise and talk a little bit about two types of noise and then a little bit about how you can determine the power in noise in a given frequency band. So what I've drawn here on the screen are two different power spectral densities. These are one-sided power spectral densities. We abbreviate power spectral density PSD. And you can see that a power spectral density is a function of F where F here represents frequency. And it basically gives you, in some sense, the amount of power per unit frequency at a given frequency. So for example, if I look at a particular frequency, call this, say, F0, the value of the power spectral density at F0 tells me how much power the noise has at this frequency. And more specifically, if I take this value and multiply it by 1 hertz, that tells me how much power is in a band of width 1 hertz at this centered around this frequency F0. Okay, so the power spectral density tells me what frequencies my noise contains. When it's larger, that means the noise contains more power at those frequencies. When it's smaller, it means that the noise contains less power at those frequencies. The power spectral density has units of volts squared per hertz. Okay, and so to find um, uh, volts squared, I multiply by an interval measured in hertz, and that gives me uh, the power. We have two types of power spectral densities drawn here. One we call white, and noise with a power spectral density that looks like this, we would call white noise. The term white comes from an analogy with visible light. If I have, well, hopefully uh, you remember that white light is actually composed of light at many different frequencies, uh, all of about the same intensity. So in an analogous sense, white noise is noise that has uh, essentially all frequencies. And you can see then that the power spectral density is flat for values of frequency starting very low and going up higher. Okay, this noise power spectral density that I have down here is called pink noise. And you're saying to yourself, that's kind of a strange name. Uh, sometimes it's also called 1 over F because this waveform is somewhat proportional to, uh, or is proportional to 1 over the frequency, and sometimes it's also called flicker noise. And um, again, the idea is for lower frequencies, say for a frequency down here, the power spectral density is large, meaning that the noise has more power um, at that point than for a higher frequency. Okay, the word or the term pink comes from the fact that um, in the visible light, 
the lower frequency light uh, ends up being red and then it goes into infrared which is not visible to most of us and so um, I guess red and white combined make pink and so basically this noise this pink noise has a larger uh, portion of its power at lower frequencies so hence the name pink pretty cool eh? if I want to find the power in a particular bandwidth then what I do is I so the power oops we'll change out of the pink that's not a very dignified color or green looks much more dignified. The power uh, in a given bandwidth is the integral from zero, assuming that I'm starting at a frequency of zero, up to the frequency B of the power spectral density with respect to frequency. So if I want to know the power in the noise starting at a frequency of zero and going up to B, in the white noise, it's basically the area under this curve. And that area, again, would be the power due to noise between uh, 0 and B hertz. Um, B quite often, well, when you're thinking about noise, quite often you talk about a system bandwidth it turns out that most systems actually filter out high frequency noise just by the nature of uh, uh, the way the universe works and so typically you can talk about a bandwidth of a system uh, define it as some capital B you may have to do it somewhat approximately but if you've got the bandwidth of a system and you know that that system has white noise in it then you can find the power um, due to that white noise through um, or by integrating from zero up to B okay so this again is a an introduction to the idea of a power spectral density oh, one last example so we talked about the idea at the beginning that if I've got noise that's due primarily to 60 Hertz interference then you might expect the power spectral density of this noise to look something like this. So at 60 Hertz it has a very large value and everywhere else it's very small. Okay, So again that would be noise that essentially has a frequency content of 60 Hertz and uh, uh, interferes with 60 Hertz signals. So that pretty much concludes our description of the frequency content of noise. Thanks for watching.